this bit is a bit I showed you from when I was back down in my house or bundle. This is the area where I get a lot of my rabbits here, just here. I'm stood literally 15 yards away from that fence where the burrows are behind. The warrens all the way up there. Yeah, pigeons coming into these trees as well on an evening roosting. I don't know if you can see because I can't see in the actual LCD at the back. So I'm not sure because of the sun, I'm not sure where I'm actually aiming. But that up there on the last video is where I missed those two rabbits. So I was having problems because I'd uh, messed about with the parallax on the, the gun to get the uh, focusing right for the camera and cocked it all up. And that was the problem. Th this video is just to show you, well, the area really. I mean, this is just a small part of what I shoot down here and across here. That's where I'm going to have a look now because I want to see if he's, he's cut the actual cornfield behind. And if he has, that's where I'm going tomorrow. Shoes are wobbling because I'm walking and it's a bit uh, uphill and down dale sort of thing. Behind there is a cornfield, and I'm afraid he hasn't cut it, which is a bit of a bind. I was hoping he'd be cut it, he's cut everything else around. But this area behind there, through the, the arch and the bridge, and then turn to the right, is in the past where I've shot rabbits, sat in the tree line, which you may have seen a video, odd one before. Um, but it's quite good because when, when the corn's good, you, you've got a real advantage point. You can get in the tree line and overlook the edge of the cornfield. And uh, there's a steep banking that drops off down to a pond. And uh, you can actually see them come out long before they can get any idea that you're even in the area. On here, this bank in here, I've seen a rabbit every time I come out virtually and never been there to get a shot at it. Never. Seems to sit where that sort of bush is there, behind below the tree, right on the very edge of it. And I'm always looking for it, and it's nine times out of ten it's there. It blends in so well. I take another step, thinking I'll just get a little bit closer, and woof, it's gone. And it's a big bugger as well. That's pardon my French. But the wind, as I'm looking now, here, is this is the top of the embankment. The wind is always prevailing. Well, I'm saying always, but 99% prevailing from the west, which is in that direction. So as I come out of my gate. Uh, I've got the wind advantage straight away, wind blowing into my face and from the rabbits. And down there is where I tend to sit and wait, or I'll stand and get tucked right into the edge there. That you can see all the forwards a bit. on the fence line and when you get up to it it's just about chin high and it blocks a hell of a lot of your body movement you can just stand behind it and it breaks you up completely virtually especially in the camo gear and uh, what I've got to be careful of is such as there see there's a that is a public footpath well it is in a in a sense now, but it's not, it was never a public footpath. They've made it such by walking there continually. That was part of the, of the, of the field 
but he's fenced it off obviously because it used to keep cattle in here at one time but kept that separate of that side just for great you know a bit of grassland and what, what have you and you do get people walking up which disturbs it I mean I tend to if I want a rabbit to uh, and avoid sort of pedestrians <laughs> walking around here as I go the class with us walking the dogs etc I tend to get down here just uh, if I can first light and this is where the rabbits will be in here the other side of that fence it opens up flat grass this is right near the fence it's sort of high reed grass and then it, it uh, sort of drops off after what four yards -ish. and then it's just normal short grass the rabbits come on today especially early morning and on an evening late evening and uh, roughly where I'm pointing now, there's a seat, a white call rabbit with a come under the muck. For them to don't really understand. If I watch this video. And uh, they always make their way up to there, so if I get to that post, which you can see in the distance there, I'm putting myself between the seat, roughly, to one side, and where the rabbit's come out behind that tree light that I'm looking at now on the edge that juts out of the field on the other side of the fence around that corner all the bottoms continue down there and no doubt if I walked into this field and down the bottom maybe just about still set up but it's too late in the day really. people walking about the tent to move back in stay there and then they'll come out later tonight roughly from five o'clock onwards I'll see them there'll still be an odd person walking up and down which you always get can't find it then there's the evening progresses come out more and then I've had the night the NV binocular on this field and it's just as it's getting dark and you can see rabbits that are running all over the place and the horses are still in this field, but they tend, they say the, the horses tend to stay up that end. There's just one there, and, and there's a few there. But very rarely they come down this bottom end, so I'm usually okay to shoot down this bottom end. They tend to stay up there, down near the housing area, back of our houses. And that's where I've just come from. The other side of that big tree, that's my, where the big tree is, and my neighbours now live next door to it. And with that fence is there, I'm looking probably see the peak of a, a garage, stone, a stone garage, and then my house is immediately behind it, with the last of those properties to the left and over the roof of the garage is where I live. And it's quite good. That area that you can see over there is still I've just been away to my caravan for a week and he just cut that the week before and I never got a chance to get in it to actually do any shooting. We were going to go one Saturday morning, the last, well, a week, Saturday gone, with Alan, who had to turn in to work because someone had got sick, so that scotched it. Luckily, for us, he didn't come. Um, two syndicate members, because it is a syndicate show at the far side, not on here, but the far side, which I have permission on anyway. And uh, there's about there and including the fields that you can see that I've panned around at the other side of the river there. It's probably about 80 acres, 60 to 80 acres all told. It goes right round across, across there, behind that tree line is the road, it extends right to the edge of the road. There's the road bridge, come right, here is the farm. Directly the other side of the road from behind the farm there is about another 40 to 60 acres. On it is a flight pond which I used to shoot regular wild fowl and all shooting with shotguns. Sadly not now because my back won't stand up to it. Plus I've got I've got rid of the shotguns and let my certificate lapse anyway. But I'm gonna have a walk down there at some stage because there, I know there's lots of rabbits because there's allotments that back onto the fields and one of my neighbours across from me who I give rabbits to been telling me that he's been plagued with rabbits lately and they're coming in off the edge of the road from the field into the allotment so one of these mornings I'm going to have a walk down there 
The only thing is that I don't like shoot that regularly now is because the boat people have taken it over, boat gypsies are hacked all and probably sounds a bit prejudiced but I'm not really but that's just that they live on on the river on well barges that have turned into homes really and things like that. And there's a boat yard actually been developed there but immediately the other side of the farm where in the angle I'm looking at now in that direction. So just for now I'll say adios. I'll probably make an addition to this video. I don't know if I've overrun actually to get it on YouTube. But bye for now.